Hello everyone, welcome to another searching for the best EDC. Please excuse that there will be some noise outside. There is construction on my street and it will be going on the whole day. So I just started recording. In this searching for the best EDC, I checked out a new key organizer, a new wallet and I updated my knife. So yeah, first and foremost, as you can see, I cut my hair. Maybe I started a fight club, maybe I started a cult called Buddhism, or maybe I'm just too lazy to go to the barber shop every three weeks. You can decide. And before we go into checking out these new items, please keep in mind we are still in lockdown. And yeah, most of these videos that I'm uploading at the moment are considered to be quick looks and not specifically reviews because yeah, I'm not going outside to properly test most of these items. With EDC, obviously it's easier. I keep them in my pocket, but for continuity sake, all of these videos you can consider as quick looks and not full-fledged reviews. So the items that I have been testing the last few weeks are the Carl Friedrich Key Organizer and the Ender Wallet, it's called the Pilot. And I also upgraded and customized my Swiss Army Knife, the Super Tinker. All right, before we go into the items that I have been testing, let's check out the items that I have been using before. So. My absolutely favorite wallet, as most of you know from my YouTube channel, is the Secret Wallet and I still love this thing due to its build, this mechanism, it's awesome. And a couple of weeks or months back I switched to the Extra Wallet because I wanted to see how the leather will age over a longer period of time and I have to say the leather has aged beautifully. The only downside to this wallet is A, it is a little bit taller, but the mechanism is better than on the secret wallet in my humble opinion. But the money band isn't that great. I prefer the folding style inside the secret wallet. Plus the edges on the secret wallet have this raw touch to it. On the extra there is some seal, some rubber, I don't know what how to call this. They put something on the edges and on some parts this yeah this coating gets loose and doesn't look that nice anymore. So that's the downside of the extra. So the wallet that I have been testing the last few weeks is the Ender Wallet Pilot. At first I was really impressed by this wallet. It is very heavy, it is heavy duty, it is very well made and this mechanism while the secret wallet and the extra have this push button mechanisms. The Ender Pilot has this rubberized scroll wheel like you find on the mouse for instance and then you can just roll this and the cards go outside. Here you can fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards and you have a money clip on this side. However, this is a very heavy wallet. It is fully made out of, I think it's aluminum and it has some heft to it. This is not that big of a deal, but you will definitely notice this in your front pocket. Plus this has a money clip to it, which is also made out of metal and this will poke a little bit into your thighs or if you have this facing to the outside, you will yeah, notice the clip. Furthermore, this is a very heavy duty clip. So it's it's very cumbersome to actually put bills or receipts in this clip. And yeah, I, in the end, I just didn't use it because it was so yeah annoyingly heavy to use. But that's not the main issue. The main issue with this is, as you can will see here, the cards fall out. They just fall out. Reason being is compared to the secret wallet or the extra on the side walls there is some felt material in the secret and in the extra that hold the cards in place but in the ender wallet it just grabs onto the metal onto slippery metal so the cards they don't stay in place you could argue yeah but how about if you just put the wallet facing up into your front pocket. That's not the ergonomic way, in my humble opinion. Whenever I'm 
paying with my cards. I have the wallet like this and then I use or push or roll the mechanism with my pinky finger, take out the card with my other hand, put the card back in and then put it like this. You see that? Put it like this into my front pocket. And if, if I have to fear that the cards fall out while I'm putting the wallet into my front pocket or once the I pull out the wallet and the cards fall out, I don't want to use this wallet. So I'm pretty disappointed to be quite honest. I love this design and the aesthetic of this wallet, but I highly recommend to Ander in the second generation, whenever there will be an upgrade to this, put some felt material in the sides so the cards don't fall out that easily. Maybe it's an issue of my item, but I feel like if there is nothing soft or rubberized on the sides, all cards will fall out because they, there is no friction to keep the cards in place. So that was the Ender Pilot. Great design, great mechanism, exceptionally well built, but having cards fall out of the wallet is an absolute no-go. Next item is the Carl Friedrich Key Organizer. Most of you know that I use the Orbit Key Key Organizer and I can highly recommend this Key Organizer. This is a completely different style. It's basically a very high quality piece of leather folded in the middle and then have a screw made out of, I think this is brass, that keeps the keys in place. Design wise, this is awesome. I mean, if you don't like this, let's say this very urban design of the Orbit key, this is great. This looks beautifully with a suit or if you are just a more fashion style person or you prefer really high quality leather, the Orbit key is available in high quality leather, but this is just a completely different story because there is more surface area that you can actually touch and gives you a more premium feeling. The downside of this is you have just one opening, so you can only open it in a certain way, dual-handed. With the Orbit key, you can actually just push on one side and the keys come out of the other side. While with this, you actually have to fidget inside, pull out the key and then open your door. The other downside that I thought in the beginning would be pretty important is that opposed to the Orbit key, where there is some intent that helps to keep the screw in place and that helps that the screws won't open up after lots of use cases. This is not the case with the Carl Friedrich. There is no indentation and I fear that the screw would loosen up over time. Whenever I'm opening the keys or I'm moving the keys, the screw is actually moving and therefore has some potential to loosen up and yeah, opening up completely. However, what I have noticed, since you only can open the, the keys to one direction and there is no way for the keys to actually make a 360 degree uh, rotation, the screw doesn't actually, actually loosen up that much. It does loosen up and you need to tighten it, but it doesn't really open up all the way because the keys just don't rotate 360 degrees. And whenever you push the keys back, actually the screw also tightens up by itself again a little bit. The other downside is that there is compared to the Orbit key, here are two attachment points basically that keep the fabric or the material in place. Here the, the folding place is different. So inside your pocket, this can actually like bend and yeah, not close as properly. This doesn't look that nice. Depending on how carefully you put the key organizer in your pocket, this isn't that big of a deal, but still something to keep in mind. Next up is my Swiss Army knife, the Super Tinker. For me, my favorite multi-tool, but it has, when you buy it, for only, I think it's just 22 euros, so it's a steal. You should definitely get one Swiss Army Knife Super Tinker because it's so cheap and it has so many great tools, especially considering that you don't have a corkscrew, but you have a Phillips head screwdriver, which is much more useful in the day-to-day -day life. However, for the price for of about 22 euros, there are only these red plastic scales, which in my case actually 
chipped away when I dropped the knife. So I opted to upgrade this with some titanium scales from Daily Customs. They are here in Hamburg, so I bought them here in Hamburg. And these are quite expensive. This pair of scales cost around, I think it was like 90 euros. However, considering the initial price of the Swiss Army knife, I think this is still a good value. It is an investment and obviously you don't need to, but if you want to have something pretty and something customized and much more durable, then I can highly recommend these titanium scales. And definitely I can highly recommend the Super Tinker. In my humble opinion, the best bang for your buck that you can get for a multi-tool. Plus it is two-handed opening and a non-locking. It's just a friction lock. Uh, knife, which means that you can actually use this in some places where knife laws are a little bit more strict. So yeah, these were the three new items that I have been testing for my EDC the last few weeks. My verdict, um, if you like a very good looking, stylish key organizer and you are more likely to wear a suit or if you're a woman and you want something that's more suitable to your dress for instance and the orbit key is a little bit too let's say urban or too uh, casual uh, for the lack of a better word then I can highly recommend the Carl Friedrich key organizer and I imagine that the leather will age beautifully. You can actually see in the b-roll shots the Carl Friedrich desk organizer that I'm currently testing. The leather that they are using is awesome. The Ender Pilot wallet. I'm really sorry. I really want to like this wallet. It's a great design. The mechanism is cool, but I, I just can't recommend or use a wallet where there is so much potential that you lose your credit card or your ATM card. I just can't do it. Maybe, let me know, if you have this wallet, do you have the same problems? Maybe it's just an issue of this single specific item and maybe it's a production error, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. Maybe it's just this specific item. So, but for now I have to say, this needs to be improved. I love the design, the mechanism and the build quality, but I can't recommend it at this stage, to be quite honest. Then the Swiss Army knife, I can't praise the Super Tinker enough. Get the Super Tinker and if you want to have something special, get some custom scales like I did. I got them from Daily Customs here in Hamburg, but if you look at Etsy or eBay or stuff, you will find many custom scales for a Swiss Army knife. That's the beauty of Swiss Army knives actually. You can customize them so much and make these knives your own. So yeah, that was another episode of searching for the best EDC. I know we are all in lockdown at the moment and I really hope all of you are safe and healthy at home. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any more questions, comment below and let me know what's your current EDC despite the fact that you are staying at home. And yeah, if you like this video, click the like button and please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss the next videos. And also check out my Instagram for b-roll behind the scenes and all of the photos that I take of these EDC bags and stuff like that and where I sometimes announce new videos. So yeah, check out my Instagram at you know the bow and yeah, I hope to see you in the next videos. Stay safe and healthy and thank you very much.